All right, let's jump into the Donut Plains number one. <sighs> Very good. Now, we are unfortunately going to have to ditch Yoshi here for a little bit because of these cape fellows. Actually, no, we don't have to ditch him. One second. Let me pause this and t really take a look at this guy. I never really got to look at him before. It's so weird. He's a Koopa, I think, because he's got the hunchback and he's looking for a shell. I mean, he just looks so grumpy. He looks like a, a worker who just got just, uh, discharged from work for the day, like Johnson! Yeah, leering at the customers again. You're uh, you're off on a day's pay. Get out of here. Be sure to come in at three in the morning tomorrow. You're on the graveyard shift. And Johnson's just like, if I had a shell, I would get that guy so good. And then I ate him. And now he doesn't have to worry about tomorrow. Because tomorrow never comes for him. Ah, oh, baseball. I was a really good baseball player when I was a young lad. I never could throw and I could barely catch, but man, I could put some power behind that ball. Shit. Eh. Eh. I want to point out, I really like Yoshi's really tiny demented eye when he's running. It really gives the impression that he's just like, <laughs> like freaking out. I really like that. I mean, he's all well and happy when uh, Mario's here, and I'm going to try really hard not to fly around. Well, obviously, because I just got rid of my freaking cape. But I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try really hard not to fly around, because that just defeats the point of playing the levels, you know what I mean? Like, if I could just skip the levels, what's the point? I'm so bad at these. The point of this little mini game is you're supposed to get three of these circles, and that gives you an extra life, but if you pick the wrong ones, it's not even a memory game, it's just a complete random game of chance. I mean, I never really got that. What? I, can I get good at that? I don't think so, it's all just pure chance. Who knows? And that's why Yoshi isn't particularly good for this level, because he just crushes the hell out of them. Let's go back. I think there was another thing I wanted to... Oh, yes! How could I forget? This is one of the best little gauntlets here. Let's go. Use Mario's cape to go through the... Mm. I used to always try to get these coins. Oh, we gotta leave Yoshi here, unfortunately. You'll be fine. There we go. Ah, I messed it up already! <laughs> Turn around, and go! The point of this is you're supposed to try to get as many coins as you possibly can, but I was always really bad at it. Terribly bad. I could never really get the controls down for flying. Obviously. That's another reason why I never really played any of the uh, ROM hacks that were made after this game, because I was... I'm not really good at, like, infinite flying. I know a lot of them require that kind of, like, you gotta keep flying, keep flying, keep going, otherwise you're gonna die. I was just never good at that. I mean, I could practice, obviously, but I got better things to do with my life, like not getting killed by that guy. Okay. Ooh, that's satisfying as hell. Now, is there a secret up here? Yeah, there is a secret up there. All right. Three, two, one. Every time they get me. Every damn time. I always think that they've despawned, but no, they're right there. Okay, there we go. Go! Damn. You can get up there without getting the green blocks. I know you can. I've done it before. I'm not crazy. I'm just handsome. Ugh. There it is. Perfect. And put the key in. Oh, I wanted to put it in with a funny face. You never do that for me, Mario. There we go. Perfect. Donut secret. Many secrets rely relay in this. Uh, I was trying to say lie, but then I was like, wait a minute. I can make a Cthulhu joke here. Many secrets relay in the ocean. Oh! Oh, these little punks. I forgot about you. The little sleepy people. Oh, their faces are so amusingly demented. They're just like, here's a new friend. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. And then he doesn't. He never does, except the times when he fucking does. They're so intimidating, because they're just laying in wait. Like, what did Bowser tell these people? I always I always like to en uh, envision exactly what Bowser talks to his minions about, because Bowser's a pretty unique character in the Mario universe. Nobody else has quite the balls to be evil, or even kind of just a little demented, you know? It's usually with Bowser's approval that they're evil. Oh, this is, this is another really weird section. 
Look at that. Who thought of this idea to kind of make Mario into a human blimp? I always thought this was a really weird mechanic. He floats around for a little bit and then eventually farts out his helium gas. Which, if he had the fire flower, I'm sure we could recreate the uh, the Hindenburg incident. Shit. There I go making fun of the Hindenburg. Alright, was it... Aha! Let's go. See, everything's a variation on the Mario theme. Uh, in the auditory way. I mean, this is the Mario theme, but it's like, more funky and underground and bleh. And this is the same theme. Well, maybe it isn't. I don't know. Whoa. Actually, yes, it is. God, what the hell's wrong with me? Well, I can think of a lot of things that are technically wrong with me, but not getting killed by this fish is one of them. Go, 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 go. See, now I feel pretty powerless. All right. Now, that P block is... Mm, this took me a while to figure out when I was young. You have to grab the P block... Those guys always look so amusing. They look like they think they're drowning, but they don't know that they can't. Okay, thankfully you're a dumb fish. Come on. There we go. Perfect. And there we go. A secret within a secret. I always love how that keyhole opens up like a freaking Stargate or something. Woohoo! Secret house. Windaba. Now, here's another question that I have. Does Bowser control the spirits of the dead? Or are these uh, ghost houses just kind of there on their own? You know what I mean? I think there's a theory that all these ghosts are the ghosts of dead uh, Bowser minions because there's that uh, there's a ship later on that we'll find that's like a ghost ship and it's inhabited theoretically by all the spirits of the dead enemies that were on it. I always like those guys. What are those? Are those the, uh, the butler ghosts? I can't remember if they were for- oh god. I can't remember if they're referred to in-game as butler ghosts, but that's that's how I always referred to them as. I'm pretty sure they're referred to as butler ghosts or something like that. Okay. Damn. Come on. Mm. Let's just jump over the fucker. Damn. First death. And look, he's looking right at me. He's like, oh, oh I know you fucked up. Fine, fine. I did always like the big ghost circling the house. That was a nice touch. It isn't just like a brick building, you know what I mean? It definitely has to show that it's crazy. And the ghost faces are pretty unique, too. I particularly like the guy who's sticking his tongue out like he thinks he's trying to eat. Speaking of which, scariest freaking enemy in all the Mario games is in uh, Luigi's Mansion. That one ghost who ate himself to death and is still eating, and you have to, like, kill him by taking his food away, and then he becomes vulnerable, and I mean, what the fuck was up with that? That was so horrifyingly dark that they would go that far. Ooh, that was tricky. I don't even think, I don't even think I need this thing. No, I did not even need that thing. I was just there to show you that you can get over that big ghost. Okay, okay, I understand. Teaching me through showing, eh? Okay. I can dig it. I'm not digging that. I'm not risking my life for coins. Yeah. They really do a lot of interesting things with these ghost mechanics, too. Ooh, there's the theme. There's the intimidating. Oh, you're in the shit house now, boy. Mm-hmm. You've made some dubious life choices if you've ended up in the ghost house. What kind of illicit things have you been doing after school? Hmm. If you've ended up in the ghost house. But we made it past the ghost house. Yay! We don't have to face the crushing inevitability of the after no eh, afterlife quite yet, thankfully. Wonderful. Continue and save. Ooh, there he is. Now that, that is a villain's keep right there, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. He's so evil that he has engraved his name in neon lights, Vegas style over his fortress of solitude that he is just maniacally circling. He doesn't even need that big of a castle because he's not in it. He's just circling around it indefinitely. And he's just enjoying every minute of it. And that's what I love about villains is when, yes, I do like sympathetic villains, and yes, I do like complex villains, but I just love it when there are villains that can be villains and love the shit out of being a villain. Come on, I love that about this Bowser. 
Later Bowser's he's so broody and he's so brr, 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 brr. but this Bowser seems to really enjoy what he does and that's what I love about this version of Bowser. I mean Grumpy Bowser's okay and I cannot deny the charm of oh damn it always mess that up. I cannot deny the ch the the pure joy that goofball Paper Mario Bowser gives me. I love that guy so much. I might even play the Paper Mario games because I that's I don't know. They're just some Mario games. I'm sorry. No, I'm not going to apologize. I am unapologetically going to say that the Mario games are some of my absolute favorite video games of all time. Because they just inspire so much creativity and such... Ugh. Dang it, I could have saved it there. Mm, the mechanics are solid. The world building is a little weak, I will admit. That's probably the weakest point in all the Mario games is... I mean, we're just saving the princess over and over again. We're just along for the ride, huh? We're just here to see what kind of kooky things that weirdo Bowser's concocted now. What kind of strange hooligans he's actually hanging around. That's the whole reason we go. Princess Peach being kidnapped. While tragic, that is the trials you lead when you are a monarch. And I think there was that one time when Mario was captured and Peach had to go save him. I haven't played that game. And I have not played uh, some of the... Some of the what you call her the uh, the Game Boy Advance Mario games. Like I believe there's a uh, you know the Partners in Time thing where they're babies and they team up with their baby selves. Ooh, ice mechanics. Um, and I believe there is a different villain in that. Like in Bowser's Inside Story, I believe it is not just Bowser. I think there is another. Oh God, fat small Mario just. <sighs> I'm trying not to be crude here, but he does kind of just look like a penis that somebody's drawn a Mario face on. It really does. I can't unsee it. Mm. Uncomfortable. Anyway. Mm. You should have hit the Koopa and hit the shell and gotten rid of that. It's very logical. Why can't you get this, sir? You've played this game for how many years now? Ugh. 